So, uh, um, a lot of times, you know, people ask, um, not necessarily what it's like to live with cancer, but how do I still stay positive or things like that, and I feel like not, um, it's easy to respond to that question after something has passed. Um, and so I figured maybe it would mean something different or mean something more to try and talk about that or answer that question in the middle of something, I guess, happening. <laughs> and so, today, um, was a good day. I, um, <clears throat> was sore from being active yesterday, but that's normal. Um, coughing, because I still have this flutter in my lung and towards the end of the night it just gets worse as far as it seems to just flare up more so I try and tap on my chest <clears throat> and they have a certain technique where you cup your hand and uh, anyway so you know doing that trying to get whatever if there is phlegm because I do have post nasal drip also but anyway so just trying to do that and trying to sort of <clears throat> do the right breathing where you take <coughs> sort of long deep breaths but then hold it at the end and try and sort of push out the last little bit of air and so trying to do these things that normally are fine and and all of a sudden you start coughing up some blood and you know it's hard not to think immediately is this another either issue or like a tumor now is burst a blood vessel or you know you just start going through all these questions and it's always just hard to stay calm and stay relaxed and just trying, in these moments, being positive or, you know, trying to, instead of thinking, is this how it's gonna be? You know, is it ever gonna let up as far as the physical parts of it, you know, and trying... <laughs> stay positive and hopeful when it just seems like again it's this three four steps forward and it seems like it's ten steps back even though I know it's not I mean <clears throat> and that's what I have to tell myself is that it may seem like it's ten steps back but I have to stop and think think about honestly where I have been and you know think okay <clears throat> at least I'm I don't have my port the dilated at least I'm not recovering really from a big big surgery at least it's only this little procedure <clears throat> at least I am driving, at least I'm working on 
um, projects or working towards projects and taking my health and control, the nutrition and physical therapy and all these things. And it's like, you know, sometimes you just don't, you just don't want to have to be in a position where you have to think positive. You know, I just don't want to, I mean, I want to be happy and have a good life and love life, but I don't want it to have to be like a survival method. I'm just sick of feeling like I have to survive each moment, each day. And so I don't know if that means anything or, you know, what exactly I'm trying to say with filming this or sharing this, but again, I think going back to the questions that a lot of times I get, and I'm sure other people with cancer or any other type of <clears throat> sickness or illness or disease or whatever <sighs> has to answer is yeah how do you stay so positive or whatever and it's what other choice I guess is there right now in this moment I could either choose to freak out, choose to just let this ruin my whole wonderful day that I had and just focus on right here, right now of this blood or be patient or, you know, it's just not worth giving in to what I could be doing, which is freaking out. It's sad, it's frustrating, but I don't want to let myself hyperventilate about this or start worrying because it does just keep going and going and... <coughs> <coughs> and so I just have to make that choice to still hope that it'll get better, you know, and hope even that tonight it'll get better, and so I guess that's also is just in these moments you do have to go, well, let's go for the next hour, you know, or half hour, whatever it needs to be, I mean, the small steps I know I've talked about before but I, I mean it really has to sometimes be the really small steps the little you know half hour can I make it a half hour will it be better in a half hour and just wait until then watch a couple of YouTube videos or whatever it needs to be to get to that next moment where you're doing better and and I think that is the hardest part. And so, yeah, um, I don't, again, I don't know if that helps or means anything or answers the question better that I've been asked, but there it is, so. <clears throat> and again, I'm going to say I'm sure this is nothing. And I'm sure it'll be better in an hour. But when it first happens, it's never easier. I guess I'll say that. Um, so, alright. Good night. <laughs>